My name is Kim Corvin, and I have a dream, and my dream is to transform people's experience with separation and divorce so that it can be a peaceful and respectful transition to a new normal family relationship. And what do I know about this? Well, I'm divorced, and I used to practice family law. And the knowledge of family law helped in my divorce a great deal. Now, the traditional approach to divorce, you have to understand, it's very linear. And it's very much focused on legal rights. And of course, when you first separate and you're feeling so incredibly raw, and you don't know where to turn, and you're looking for certainty, so you go and see a lawyer. And a lawyer's job is to protect your legal rights. And so it's a very narrow focus, because as you well know, you're so much more than your legal interests. And in terms of the information even that's important to getting a divorce, the information that's important from a legal perspective is the lawyer's going to ask you for your name and your date of birth, the name and date of birth of your husband, the date you got married, where you got married, uh, the dates your children were born and their full names, you know, what activities they're involved in. They're also a really big focus is going to be on how come you're the best parent and how come your ex is a really horrible parent. So you're left, the dynamic of that, what happens then is you're focusing everything positive on what you've done and you, and you're focusing, you're remembering every rotten thing your ex ever did related to the kids. And your ex is doing exactly the same thing from your ex's perspective. So it's this horrible conflict and, and you're thinking, all you can think about is how awful your ex is and it's really hard to get out of that loop. Incredibly difficult. And so at the end of the process, what happens is somebody else makes the decision and you're unhappy about that but more importantly there's been no relationship building during that process it's been a tearing apart so at the end of it you're stuck going I have to my kids have to spend time with this person yuck I have to talk to this person? I don't even want to look at this person. He's just been saying nasty things about me for the last two years. And it works both ways. And the kids are caught in the middle. When the reality is, you get divorced, but if you have kids, you still have a relationship with your ex. And you need to be able to put your kids first. Which I think captures the fact that you still have a relationship with that person and the circle is the relationship. Now you'll recall when you met your ex, you likely started out as friends first and weren't intimate right away. So you'd laugh together and do things together and talk and, and it was really healthy and positive. Well with full circle divorce we start looking at that and, and what did you like about this person? So it's a positive focus and we go down the circle of the relationship and when did you get married and how are you feeling then and you know the birth of your children and how you were feeling then and other high points in the relationship. There's no judgment, there's no um, looking for fault in the other person because the reality is people grow apart and sometimes people get to a point in a relationship where they're not bringing out the best in each other. And that's okay. It happens. Nobody needs to be judged for that. So by looking at a circle and focusing on the positive, we're setting up for when you get to the bottom of the circle, and that's where you may not really even want to look at the person again. But you have to work through it for the sake of your children and for your sake too, so you can get on with your life. So there's that rocky point at the bottom of the circle. And then with full circle divorce, really what we've done with a positive focus is looking at how can we bring people back to the top of the circle? How can we bring you back to the top of the circle? And a lot of that is through sharing of information. 
although I'm not acting as a lawyer, I'm providing legal education, information about what does custody really mean, and really sitting down with people. They're the experts of their lives. So in terms of the Divorce Act talks about the best interests of the child. So sitting down with people who are the experts, they're, they know their families better than anybody else. What are the best interests for their children? And how's that gonna play out when the family relationship changes and they're not living with mom and dad all the time anymore? And looking at financial literacy and making sure people are getting the emotional support they need so that they can make strong decisions. They can be strong and make the best possible decisions so that they can create a new normal that's respectful and peaceful. And that's what full circle divorce does. And I have started working with uh, a few individuals and it has been fantastic for me and for them. And I just, it feels so good to be giving back and sharing this information. So if you want to learn more, I'm starting a website, www.fullcircledivorce.com or kimcorvin.com is the other way to find me. And I really hope that this inspires you to step outside the traditional box. And I hope you can keep that thought, the full circle divorce, in your mind so you can create a new normal that's yours and that's respectful and peaceful and so your whole family can move forward in a positive fashion. Thank you.